Hello, hello, hello. It is Teddy again. I'm back with a Technicals with Teddy. Today we're going to be talking about high of day and low of day, guys. And this is a strategy that you can use on a Monday, on a Tuesday, on a Wednesday, on a Thursday, on a Friday. Probably on crypto over the weekend, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is a strategy that can work for you. And this is a strategy that I found um, is a great tool to have in my toolbox. When it comes out, I use it. It's not as often as other strategies, like a five-minute flag or something like that. But when I get the opportunity to trade a high of day or low of day zone, boom, I'm taking it and I'm running with it. And I'm going to have a position. You can goddamn bet so. This is a, a strategy that works um, more often than not. It works more than 50% of the time. Entries aren't very hard. You guys can perfect this and you guys can run with this. So watch this short little video. It's going to be three minutes, uh, maybe a little over, maybe a little less. I'm going to show you guys what I think. And you guys can decide if you want to run with it or if you want to uh, give it the kibosh. So this first example I have here, uh, you guys can see my cursor now. So February 23rd begins on this red candle here. It makes low of day somewhere around midday. I don't know what exact time that is. And then it you know, pops back up at, towards the end of the day. And then we gap down pretty heavy. We gap down below low of day on February 23rd. So February 24th begins here. We pop right up to low of day zone. You can go short because what do we know? We know that this low of day zone is a high volume area where it's likely to cause a rejection. What does it do? It causes a rejection. You would have made money. You know, we, we chop around a little bit. We pop back up into this low of day zone. You could have gone short. You could have bought puts. What happens again? You would have gotten paid. A third time we pop into that zone. You buy puts, you make money. You short, you make money. We pop in, up into it a fourth time. You buy puts, you go short, you would have made money. Simple. If you can use low of day as a resistance, use it as a resistance from the day before. Here's an example using high of day. So October 17th begins on this candle. Chop around, high of day zone is created. October 18th, big gap up. What do we do? We can think, all right, high of day could be support. We drop all the way down. We did two wicks into that zone. You buy calls, you go long. What happens? Green candle after green candle. One red candle, green candle, green candle, green candle. Two red, green, couple red. Green, 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 green. It works, guys. It just works. If you can find high of day as a support, use it. If you can find low of day as a resistance, use it. Buy while it's in that zone. Buy while it's touching high of day. Give it a little bit of room to move. Set a stop loss, 5%, 10%, whatever you're comfortable with. Let it do its thing. And I think you're going to make some money. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you guys uh, have any questions about high of day, low of day zones and get making some money on this. Get testing it. Have a good week, guys.